Hey guys, today we're going to draw this Wi-Fi icon in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now choose the ellipse tool and draw a perfect circle in one of these cross sections right here. So hold down the alt key and the shift key while drawing a circle. Now go to transform, make sure this link is enabled to keep the proportions and choose the width of your circle. You can choose whatever size you want, or you can just follow my measurements. If you choose your own measurements, make sure it's easy to divide by 4. For this tutorial I will choose 20 millimeters. Now select the stroke and turn it off. Then select the fill and give it the color you want for your icon. Now we need to do the waves of the icon. So go to object, go to path and go to offset path. We want to offset the path by half the width of the circle plus the distance you want to the next wave. So half the width of my circle is 10 millimeters, and I want 15 millimeters to the next wave. So 10 plus 15 is 25 millimeters. So type in 25 millimeters up here and click OK. Now make this a stroke instead of a fill and give the stroke the same width as your circle right here. In my case, 20 millimeters. The reason why we need to add half the width of the circle and not just the distance is because we measure from this path right here to this path right here. And as you see, we have the distance right here which is 15, but we still have 10 millimeters until the actual path of the stroke. And because the stroke is 20 millimeters, half of the stroke is 10. This makes it 10 plus 15. So now we need to add another circle. So go to object, go to path, go to offset path, and this time the offset is the distance as before, which is 15, but now we need to add a full stroke width. So in my case that is 15 millimeters plus 20 millimeters, which is 35 millimeters. Click OK. And these calculations is because we want to offset the path by half a stroke width plus the distance and half a stroke width again, because the path is in the middle of the stroke. Now for the last circle, go to object, go to path and offset path again. And here we just use the same numbers as before, which is half a stroke width plus the distance plus half a stroke width again. So that's 10 plus 15 plus 10, which is 35 again. So now all the circles are done and we want to cut out the parts of the circles that we want. We do this by choosing the line tool and draw a line from the top of the circle to the middle. Draw one more line from the right side to the middle. Now select all the shapes. Go to the shape builder tool right here. Hold down the alt key till you see the minus sign beside the arrow and click on the paths right here to delete them. Now select the two lines that you drew and delete those two. Leaving behind a shape like this. So now choose the waves, go to the stroke menu and select round cap. Now select the icon again. Now hold down the shift key and rotate the icon by 45 degrees. From here you can color the icon as you want. If you want to learn more, you can check out one of the videos in the right side of the screen right now.